Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. I have just connected my Flink 2 to the internet and there is a pop-up saying that we have the new upgrade available. Is it V 4.5.8 and O1 one was 4.5.6. So we have some improvements. Let's say it's optimized Wi-Fi network speeds and compatibility, improved stability of Wi-Fi networks and a lot of bugs were fixed. All right. So let me click on the upgrade button and I will keep the setting. So let's go. Upgrading is 100% and we can see that the router is being restarted. So let me go to the wireless connection and see if the router is up and running. So let me see where it is. We have the 4. So we can see that the 2.4 bands or the 2.4 radios is up already. But the 5 gigahertz radio is not yet up and running. So let's wait for that. Okay. Yes, it is connected, connected, secure. Very good. So let's go to property and see there no much different. Let me go to the client and then let's go back to our open speed test server as usual and check it out all right so this will be the test in the wi-fi 6 protocol it is using the 5 gigahertz band and let's check it out with the file configurations we have 1900 mpbs dialog and I believe the result will be more or less the same for upload. And this time, I can see that the upload speed slightly increase. It's go up to 1600 Mpps for upload. A very good improvement on the upload side, but still it's not above 2.2 GHz. Uh, but again, it is not above 2 gigabit per second let's refresh the page and check it out so i don't know why i will kick off the 5 gigahertz connection and it sent me to another wi-fi but anyway i have reconnected and let's check it out All right, this time we can see that the download speed is 1,894 Mpps and the upload speed is 1,691. It is close to it is close to 1,700 already. So they are a bit of improvement. So what about iPub3? Let's check it out. So I will go with the normal direction. And we can see that for normal direction or upload, we are running at 1.66 gigabit per second. So this is a good speed to see. So in revert, we have 1.47 gigabit per second. So I'm not sure if it is correct. So let's run another time. And yes, for reverse we have 1.50 gigabit per second so that's where the result for the 5 gigahertz band in the wi-fi 6 protocol now i'm going to change the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi to the default configuration which is this one 11 bg and ax and connect to it and check it out all right apply so let's go and connect to it. Connect it. So let's go to the property and see. So we have the link speed is 287 slash 287 Mpps. Network channel is 13. Network band is 2.4 gigahertz. The protocol is Wi-Fi 6 or A02.11ax. That is good to see. So as usual, let's proceed with the open speed test. Let's go. So this time we can see that the download speed is 100 and 
75 Mbps. So it will hugely improve from the previous test. And in the previous test, it is only 120 or 30 something. And then for upload, we do see the same improvement. It's go up to 120 Mbps for upload. So well, there is improvement and we can clearly see that from the result. Let's run the test another time before we switch to the iPub 3 test. So for download, we are going up to 220 Mbps. Wow, that is really good to see. You can see the Wi-Fi throughput here on the computer as well. And then for upload, we are running at 160 Mbps. Well, that is very good result to see. Alright, so I believe this should be the final results of the open speed test and let me move to the iPub tree. So at first it will be a test with a stream in the default direction. We are having 134 and then we can see that it's a bit of fluctuate. We have 130 and then the final result is 163 for the default direction. Now I will change it to revert and let's check it out. So in revert we have 230 megabit per second. So the revert direction is the download actually. So let me reduce the stream to maybe 1 and let's check it out. So with just one stream, we have a very fluctuating speed. It is ranging from 137 to 160. And at the end, we have the average speed of 135 megabit per second. And then for revert or download, we have 188 megabit per second. Well, there was some time it dropped to 59 or 90 but the over speed is still 137 megabit per second so we can see that in the recent firmware release v4.5.8 the wi-fi throughput will hugely improve for both the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band all right so that will be all for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one